More than 2 million Texans fish in our rivers, streams, lakes, bays, and gulf every year. If we add that all up, Texans spend more than 34,735,000 days fishing annually. There are more than 4 million Texans who watch and photograph wildlife. Fishing line is often left behind by accident or neglect. Made from plastic and designed to be durable, fishing line takes up to 600 years to degrade in the environment. For hundreds of years, this line continues to be an eyesore and a hazard for boats, divers, and wildlife. From headwaters to ocean, fishing line left in the environment harms animals and their habitats. Fishing line turns habitats into traps for dolphins, alligators, fish, and turtles. Along our waterways and coastlines, fishing line entangles and kills thousands of birds each year. Many animals mistake the line and other marine debris for food and die from consuming it. Others can become tangled in the plastic line, slowly dying from starvation or infection. Monofilament line is the most commonly used fishing line available. It is a single strand, high density nylon line that is used on fishing reels. Monofilament line is recyclable as long as it doesn't have a lot of plant growth on it. Hooks, bobbers, and other debris should be removed before recycling the line. Once recycled, the monofilament line becomes plastic toys and artificial reefs. Line that is braided or contains wire cannot be recycled. Even if the line isn't recyclable, it should be removed from the environment, cut into 6 inch lengths, and thrown in the trash. All fishing line can be non-point source pollution. You can't identify and point to the original source of the line, hence the name. Other types of non-point source pollution include fertilizers and household chemicals that pollute the water. Though each little bit of line left by anglers may not seem like a lot, it builds up in nature over time. In fact, fishing line is one of the ocean's most persistent forms of pollution. You can make a difference to wildlife around the world by keeping fishing line and other forms of trash out of our waterways. When you lose your line, do your best to recover. If you are on a kayak, canoe, or fishing boat, take time to safely remove fishing line and drop the monofilament into a recycling station. Spring Lake in San Marcos and many of our partners have recycling stations as well as collection bags to take with you while fishing. Check out our website to find recycling locations across Texas and to learn about other types of non-point source pollution. Here are some tips. Consider the age of your line and its strength. Store loose pieces of fishing line until you're ready to recycle them. Indoor recycling bins are available at some tackle shops. Outdoor PVC recycling stations are located at boat ramps and piers and at many Texas state parks. You can encourage places that don't offer recycling bins to participate in the program. Learn how to build your own recycling station at our website. If you cannot recycle the line, cut the line into pieces less than six inches long and dispose of it in a trash can. Because birds can take monofilament from landfills for their nests, you can also consider mailing the clean monofilament line to Berkeley Recycling. Visit the link on the screen to learn more. Store your fishing rods where the wind won't catch the fishing line. If you fish from a boat, make it an onboard rule to never throw any plastic overboard. Cut an X into the lid of a tennis ball canister or similar container so that it's easy to poke the short pieces into the container. Sponsor a monofilament recycling bin and empty as needed. You can also participate in the local beach and river cleanup events or volunteer for agencies that are actively sponsoring cleanups. Perhaps you would like to take your stewardship to the next level. Then join us in our crusade against the madness of monofilament. Become a monofilament finder. We will give you a collection bag with a protocol card that describes the steps for removal and tracking. You can then collect and remove this harmful pollutant from the environment when you're out fishing, boating, bird watching, or just being in nature. Report your data to us at the Meadow Center so we can keep track of the positive impact you make. Visit our website for more information and helpful resources. If you are interested in doing more, join Texas Stream Team. This network of trained citizen scientists and volunteers monitor waterways across our beautiful state. They act as an early warning system for the health of our creeks, streams, rivers, lakes, and coastal waters. Visit this website to learn more. From the rugged Rio Grande to the springs of central Texas to the expansive Gulf of Mexico, we are proud of our state. Let's work together to keep our waters beautiful, healthy, and enjoyable for anglers, wildlife, and everyone in between. Save lives. Don't leave your line behind.